Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this custom hero section to your blogger website. So here we can see we have this background image running and we have this button over here and we also have this menu icon and if I click on that, we have the menus displayed over here. So you can add your own menus over here. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website and I will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's get started. Right here I have logged into my blogger dashboard and uh, this is how our blogger website looks right now. So the theme that I'm using right now is called Contempo Lite which comes by default with blogger. Now here if you go to our website and if I right click over here and if I go to inspect, here let's see how the website is structured. So here we can see that we have this header tag. In the header tag we have all this header content that we see over here in the website. So we need to replace this header section with the header that we have over here. So for that we need to go ahead and remove this header from here. So now if we just delete it from here we can see that the header is no longer displayed over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our theme and let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And here let's search for the header. So I'll just press command F and let's tap less than header. So this is the header tag. So I'll just go ahead and fold this and let's remove this header tag from here. Now before making any changes to your theme code, it is a good idea to copy all of this code and paste it somewhere so that you have a backup. Right now let's go ahead and delete this header tag from here. And uh, now we need to add this uh, hero section over here. So if you go back to our website and if I right click over here and go to inspect, here we can see that we have the centered division and uh, for the centered division we have some max width. So we don't want to have any max width, we need to have the full width. So here we can see that the content is inside full width. So what we need to do is so we need to add the content inside this page body, not inside the centered division. So if you go back to our theme and uh, here inside the page body, here if I just add an H1 just to test everything. So I just tap testing. And now if you click on save. And if I go back to our website and if I reload this page. Now we can see the testing is being displayed over here. Now let's go ahead and display this hero section right here. So let's go back and I'll just delete this. And first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag for that. And uh, let's go to our source code. And let's go to the style.css file and let's copy all the CSS from here. And let's paste it over here. And I'll just remove this CSS of the body because we don't want to change the styles of the body. And here we can see that when we have this ampersand symbol, it is giving us this error. That's because uh, this complete code is inside an XML file. So we need to change this into ampersand AMP semicolon. And let's do the same over here, AMP semicolon. Right now let's scroll down and go to the end of the style tag. And uh, let's add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file. And let's copy everything from this line of code till here. And let's paste it over here. And lastly, we need to add the JavaScript. So I'll just create a script tag for that. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy all this uh, JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here. Now if you go back to our source code, if you go to the HTML file, here we can see that we have this uh, menu items. Now you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want and you can also add the links of the pages over here. And here we have this text, you can change this to whatever you want. And uh, here we have this button. You can add the link of the page over here. Right now let's add all of this inside an if condition. So we will just display this hero section on the home page. So let's go ahead and add an if condition over here. And this is where our code starts. So let's tap less than b colon if c o n d for the condition. And in the condition we need to type data colon v dot is home page. So the code below this will be executed only if it is the home page. Let's go ahead and close the if condition just after the script tag. So let's tap less than 
forward slash b colon if right now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to upload this video somewhere and get the link and paste it over here right now it is set to videos forward slash the video name but we don't have this videos folder in our blogger website now for uploading the video i'm going to use a service called cloudinary all right so here i have logged into cloudinary.com so you can just create a free account and log in and just go to media library and go to folders and here I already have these folders. So you can just create a new folder by clicking on this create a folder button. Now I already have this folder called videos. So let's open this. And let's add the video over here. All right, so here is my video. So let's go ahead and drag and drop this video over here. So here we can see that the video is being uploaded. And now the video was uploaded and uh, here we get the link of the video. So let's click on copy link and let's go back to our theme code and let's paste the link over here. And now let's click on save. And here we have this error which says that the attribute autoplay associated with an element type video must be followed with this equals character. So it is right here. So here we need to type autoplay equals and here also I'll just tap autoplay and we need to do the same for muted and loop so let's tap muted and for the loop let's tap equals loop and uh, now let's go ahead and save this All right now let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can see that we have this custom hero section displayed over here and uh, we also have this menu items working all right and if you scroll down here we can see that all the other content of the website is being displayed now if you open one of these posts now here we don't have the hero section displayed now for all the other pages you can just create a simple header and add it over here with an if condition but i'll just leave it as it is so if you go back to the home page here we have the custom hero section and the last thing we will do is uh, we will change the color of the text over here so right now we can see that we have this blue color over here for the text so let's right click over here and go to inspect and if you take a look at this uh, anchor tag here we can see that it has this a colon visited and the color is set to this blue color so let's go ahead and change that let's go back to the template code and here let's tap header a colon visited and uh, we need to set the color to let's say what's the color we need to have we need to have the white color so let's type color white and uh, let's save this and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can see we have the white color and everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add this custom hero section to your blogger website. All right, so that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.